Hi guys, Mike Dawes here. Welcome to this month's column for Guitar World magazine. Um, at a lot of workshops that I teach um, whilst on tour, one of the questions that comes up very often is, how do you go about writing a piece of music for fingerstyle guitar? And um, that's actually one of the really interesting questions. You know, uh, a lot of people would like to learn about specific techniques, but this is such, such a big question to answer that um, I'm going to break it down for you over the, the next few issues, break down a few uh, approaches that I have. Uh, the main approach to composing uh, for a solo instrument is uh, what I would call melody first uh, composition. And for this, I, to understand this, I just want you to forget everything you, you know about music and just approach music as a fundamental concept, two fundamental ingredients, melody and harmony. Uh, melody and harmony equals music, that's it. All this extra stuff, the percussion, the crazy strumming, the uh, little articulation, things like that, it, it's, it's all extra. You know, it's not necessary um, for the core emotion of a piece of music. That's what you get from melody and harmony. Uh, for example, melody is the top line, okay? Something like this, something very, very straightforward. La, 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 la. Super cheesy melody, that one. But that's the top line. That would be the part of the song that uh, you would hum as you're walking down the road. The harmony is the second part. The harmony is the bass line or um, the chords in the background that, when combined with the melody, create a feel. It triggers an emotion. That's, that's uh, what creates the, uh, the enjoyment of listening to a piece of music, the harmony and the melody combined. Okay, none of the... I mean, that's why you don't see Eric Clapton playing Unplugged on a drum set because you need that harmony to back up his melody, back up a melody that someone's singing to create the emotion. So a lot of the times when I pick up a guitar and write a piece of music, I'll start with a melody, just like that one, okay? So I'll play that for you again. See if you can join me with this. We're in dad-gad tuning. It's D, A, D, G, A, D, okay? I'm gonna play this nice, simple melody that I came up with on tour a few days ago. Here we go. and simple. So we've got our melody, we've got our top line, but that doesn't create enough of an emotional response. We need the harmony. So let's try that. I'm going to add three simple bass notes to this, and then we're going to start to form the basis of our song. Okay, here we go. Starting on this B. Okay, so that's B, A, and G in the bass. Now suddenly the song is starting to take shape. You have that feel that emotion, if I was to change the harmony, it would create a different feel, you know? So this is why melody and harmony equals music. This is the most important thing when you're writing a song. I see a lot of uh, younger players nowadays playing around with fingerstyle guitar, and a lot of them uh, may, may forget that fundamental uh, concept, you know? What makes a good song is a memorable melody with a harmony that is appropriate. The next step would be to, or for me, would be to exaggerate and uh, embellish the bass line a little bit. It's very important for me playing on one instrument to treat the bass line the way a bassist would. Okay, so not just play single notes on the beat, but embellish it a little bit. So let's try this little exercise here with an embellished bass line. Suddenly it's a little bit more funky. We have that bassist uh, feeling. I guess, the bassist feeling. But we're still not done. Now we need to fill in our middle. We've got our bass strings and our top strings, but we need to fill in the middle strings. We need to become the guitar player. And uh, I'm gonna throw in some harmony on the top line as well. So when I'm writing a song, this is normally the third step after I've got an appropriate uh, melody and bassist-esque harmony. I'll uh, add in some little guitar harmony. So let's try this one right here. Okay, and now we have that. That's pretty much a fingerstyle guitar song, you know. That's that's a, or a piece of uh, a piece of music, a section. But um, for those of you that know my stuff, know I like to add in little percussive ingredients in this hand. So I'm going to add in now as the final step in this uh, compositional process some uh, bass drums and snare drums using the heel of my hand just here. And uh, we're going to get the little uh, the little click, the little backbeat with the thumb 
just hitting that bottom string into the fret wire there, okay? And that's the final step, so let's give that a go. Now with some percussion. <laughs> And there we have the song beginning to take shape. Now there were a few other little, little things that I added into that that I haven't explained, so I'll just go over those quickly. Um, on one of the chords, I uh, added in a little, uh, a little effect that uh, is colloquially known as a Ross Guedo. Like a Ras Guedo, but uh, used a lot by the great Canadian guitar player Don Ross. And what Don does in a lot of his pieces, something that I just took to use there, was he creates a very, very quick pattern of four using his three fingers on the top three strings, just like this, I, M, A, okay, I, M, A, and the final strike is M, the middle finger, strumming those three strings together, but what I did there is I ran that finger into the bottom of the sound hole to create another little percussive effect. Okay, just like that, one, two, three, four. Another little effect that you might have seen there, another little bit of a articulation, a tapped note little tap note in the slide. Okay, tap, slide, and pull off. And then we're just ending with that nice chord there. Okay. And uh, that's just one of the processes that I'll go through to, to write a piece of music. I thought I'd share that with you because it does come up in workshops quite a lot, but uh, there is a lot to talk about. So um, good luck with learning that song, and do try and take that approach and apply it to your own music. Good luck. <laughs>